take you on tour with me. That was really, uh, or maybe I'll just take you home because sometimes when you're with your family, they don't get who you are. You're like, he gets me. It's <laughs> anyway. And then two things. It's always good to come up to Manchester. And whoever invited me, bless you. Um, and also, when I did my father and other superheroes, I actually he did it in contact with one of the uh, places that supported it. I really enjoyed my time here. I stayed with the family in, the, in their house, and they really made me feel more like I was an old one. I really enjoyed that. It was a difficult period of my life, but it was a very enjoyable, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to share with you some... Um, oh, yeah, two things. I do not have any books on sale. I apologize. But uh, Resurrection Man, which I recommend you get, I only, I only have a few of those because it's they were published in America. If you email me, I will send you a copy if you like. You can buy it online on my site and I'll send it. That's the one to get. It's rare. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kingdom of Gratitude, you can get it online. And it's not but anyway, this is the new work. It's called The New Carthaginians. And uh, just to give you a little context, uh, let me just look at the time, sorry. Just to give you a little context, um, basically, it kind of continues where Kingdom of Gravity left. Uh, Kingdom of Gravity looks at the Idi Amin regime, 71 to 79. I wrote a play as well called The Dark, which looked at how my mom, you know, the day she smoked me up, because it all happened in kind of one day. And then um, I've gone back to that, that time frame, but I'm looking at the Entebbe hijacking, which happened in 1976. And that event became an international event. And if it didn't happen, I, 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 I look at it because I might not even have been in this country. I might not have left. I might have stayed in Uganda. I might not even have been a poet. Because I think poets, they emerge from things that have happened in their life. And I think that event was important. So I'm going to share with you five poems around that. Just to give you a little context, I don't like to do things in a straight line. Um, there are three characters. So there's myself. And then there's the painter Jean-Michel Basquiat, and I've resurrected Icarus, but I've turned him into a black body. And I've asked, I'm using Basquiat's paintings, ekphrastically, to paint the real version of the interpret hijacking. Does that make sense? <laughs> I like to do the easy way, you know, I took the easy way, you know what Okay, here we go. So, now that you don't understand that, at least you do, because I don't. Uh, here we go. So, I'm going to read you a few of those poems, and I'm going to start with... 76, which is quite useful, which is the year. 76. 1. If this is what we know, then the year is 1976, and the air is thick with everything coming. If this is not a war, then there will be no need for an enemy. If there is a hero, there will be death. If history, being what it is, demands a hero, we could use the DeLorean and jump back into time, if only it were that simple. Then this text would be an experiment in which we are studying time. It passes slower the more you are moving. I used to be a scientist. Consider, for example, how light emitted from a moving source has a lower frequency. I am moving. When you change your speed, you rotate the direction of time. And this is how time, too, behaves. When it is rotated, it becomes relative. We will begin with a plane because you might have heard one pass by your window. What is flying by, but by way to, what is flying but a way to climb up into the air? We are at 30,000 feet on flight 139. What do you know about the revolutionary cell? What do you know about Athens Airport? What do you know about Operation Thunderbolt? You may or may not have heard of Yoni and what happened in 1976. In the movie, Yoni is the hero. Known enemies are terrorists led by bows. You, we are seven days away from the 4th of July. But this is not an American story. We are headed for a foreign town on an airport runway. On the same day, three, the real thing tops the charts with you are everything. The song will spend three weeks at number one. You might be asking, what does a band have to do with a terrorist operation? It's in the first line. I would take the stars out of the sky for you. 
I want to tell you about this guy. I want to tell you about the sounds of leaving. I mean, talk about Basquiat and what he knew about Icarus. I don't know where to begin. So I may jump around in search of a source code, in search of a known life, in search of fire and something to displace us. That will be far and dying. But before we begin with these elements, here is an effort. Silence is dead. <laughs> Could cut a knife. Alright, so the next poem. Guess that should be clear. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So I just talked about so probably not. I'm nuts. Flights is the next poem. There's a definition, there's seven definitions. Here we go. Flight one. There are things that can never be the same like the history of space. 2 a.m. That was the actual moment when Basquiat and I first met. In light of that moment, he begins to talk about doing something other than art. Writing, perhaps. I take his coffee and cup in one hand as he draws a pair of wings on the back of a napkin. Why wings? I ask. Because the body is an imperfect container. 2. Flight. Time is what stops everything happening at once. I remember Icarus, Iverson's 48 point game, the taste of sorrow on the beach, but I have forgotten the fear of flying. I wake from a deep sleep conscious that I am an animal, a bird on fire, looking for an edge. For the third time in my life, I am scissoring through darkness. The night is thick with everything coming. Swift is the night, slow is the dark. Three, flight, flee. Think of it like this. Amelia, the flight attendant, wants to know if everyone is okay. My face housed in the mirror of an Airbus bathroom Lux Courage, a gun in a paper bag, all things fear me and tremble in my presence. As my life has taught me, we must suffer. Without this world, I will take myself and unhinge myself from this body. Keep in mind that this section is translated. Four, flight, between fours and levels. I didn't get to choose the location. Point four or three, 106 degrees north, 32,400, uh, 4,418 east in its darkness and hunger. Neither did I choose the ceiling of stars that made me a foreigner that evening in the same way that the air becomes something else the moment you lean into it, waiting to bear us up as you glide upon it. And I too am a new thing, born of another language. I am both familiar and unfamiliar. Five, flight. A selection of small portions. This photo was taken towards the end of the sheet. It is a love movement. If you add captions with the sound of rain pounding, you can hear my father ask the cameraman, would the sound displace us? Stevie Wonder is playing. I'm off camera. And at three years old, I already know that they're going to split up. That Uganda skyline looks completely different now. Six flights, a far-fetched idea. Who understands the world? The year is 1976. It will be a long summer. Air France flight 139 will depart from Tel Aviv. So far, no sign of blood. The future, what does it know? We are in the last stages of waiting. A German will ask for the freedom of 40 Palestinians detained in Israel. They are moving to a changed destination, a foreign city that houses the room in which I was born. Seven. Flight, the tail. Do you know this one? I call it Icarus' steam tune. He flies away and like a dream, they cannot find him. Even like a vision of the night, he is chased away. Job chapter 20, verse 8. Okay, I should go. I want to read you this one. Oh, yes, yeah, so um, this next poem is called Equals Pilots, so uh, named after one of the baskets. And then, no, actually, I'll read you this one. <laughs> Basquiat talks to the poet about death. I'm the poet. <laughs> we got that, Nick. Thanks. <laughs> these man, these Mancunians, they know. <laughs> All right. Basquiat talks to the poet about death. At a rooftop party, the night is the night, and we are watching death. Or should I say, Bruce Willis is walking barefoot in a skyscraper. I wish I'd taken a picture. The host 
some newscaster you would recognize from TV has hired a, a firm to project the film onto the hotel wall across the street. My date has just returned from the bathroom. I'm a plus one. Pointing to an open air bar, I can feel the sun's heat reflecting off the building. She has me speaking in my fourth language, but my thoughts have her undressed in my, in, a, in my first. By the pool, a waiter asks, are you ready to order? You recommend the pad thai with chicken for two, and if they don't have that, we'll have the snapper with snake bean salad. DJ Shadow is connecting speakers to his decks. When his left elbow knocks the blood orange champagne wheel to the concrete, even falling has its grace. Bruce Willis is at the top of the Nakatomi bully, ready to face a paradox. Terrorists intending to blow it up. A building burning is a way of saying, you are not welcome here. The, rate, the waiter returns with our cutlery. I can see my country in the steel with only two weeks to go before it is bankrupt. As if one needed a reminder of how one can be in two places at once. All right, I've got two more for you if, you, if you're patient. You know. Somebody like, no, hey, <laughs> not patient. Equals part, that's what I was going to say again. You guys got good memories, I could tell. Mm -hmm. Here we go, equals pi, and then I'm going to read Hollywood Africans. Equals pi is, is one of his paintings, and also Hollywood Africans. And I just want to say thank you. And also, you guys didn't know that Sammy also works for Arvon, so she's like a superhero. <laughs> Poet, and works for Arvon. I, just, I was just like, wow, you're amazing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just ran out of two members. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm being silly now. <laughs> Cut the tension, back to work. Alright, here we go. Equals pi. One. The three of us paddle in our kayaks to Penguin Island. Before the third morning, the future separates into sea and sky. In the fragile extension of broken time, everything depends on how you interpret it. Just as a prayer is more than the order of its words. Take that corner of the sky. Notice how the brightness of the gleaming sun retreats from the world. The journey picks up in Stone Town where we are, where all our food and drinks are catered for. A lone fisherman beckons us to the far side of the beach. In the brief history of his silence, we set up camp for the night as the fisherman tends to the fire under the boab trees. I fall asleep to the flame. What if the spaces we use for testimony are equal to pi. Here is a burning bush. Moses was a fugitive who saw the whole of Egypt's harvest destroyed. He stood against a troop of magicians and had to believe that the God who called to him from the flames of a burning thicket would telephone that reality. Two, in the history, in the brief history of this other science, he was talking to God. The way that I'm talking to you. What theater to catch God in sentence? I wonder if he stresses his T's. I wonder if when Kanye burns his childhood home to rubble on stage, if he is really drawing a line, a parallel to a burnt city that equals pie. What if the burning bush was God's covered lawn? Or what if the flames or God's primer. And the flames crackle, the sonic he embodied when he awaits another voice. The kind of voice you might hear coming out of the drum kit of Max Roach while he is recording Money Jungle in the now. And by now, I mean today, which equals pi. The pistol of a dead man equals pi. The year 1976 equals pi. And in Tebet Airport, with its floor on fire equals pi. Three. The opening scene of Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing will have you, will allow, will, if you allow it, have you standing on the cliff's edge for 90 minutes. The dodge your heart makes in the closing credits is equal to pi. So are the number of times that you watch it again as if for the first time the world trying to reset itself is equal to pi. As is the burden that arouses an to label that too is equal to pi. Do you know this pattern? Okay, don't focus on the spine, but on what it holds up. The future is an eroding witness 
And she will tell you that war is not about the protecting the border, but how blood is spilt within it. Tragedy belongs to such whispers. The bodies of your friends in a morgue is equal to pie. And whatever flame is burning. Fame in a world like this is worthless. And that too equals pie. My country is a woman in heat, a bridge of lusts. Mercenaries cross her, applauded by the massive sands, Adonis. All right, I'm going to read you the last one. This is a bit more cheery. I can see you guys are like, <gasps> what am I crying? Uh, I know half them. No, okay. So this one's uh, more of a love poem. I haven't read a love poem for ages, and I didn't even want to write it. And it's kind of an amalgamation of all, not all the love, it's kind of my, it's my wife, but I can't really write about my wife, because every time I write about her, she gets self-conscious. But don't tell her this. She's not here, so she finds out, I know who said it. <laughs> all right, good, all right. Hollywood Africans. The only thing that was certain was that it was June. And we had split a pepperoni pizza between us. An ultraviolet night set the room. Basquiat channel surfing, looking for cartoons while Icarus potted a canvas to see if the image fit precisely to the frame. He was certain that someone had broken in. I'm getting set to coast towards the front door when the girl of my dreams walks in now. I have to play some lame excuse about how. I'm off to the bodega to get some smokes and how. I'm craving for meat. I'm bound by this habit. She just smiles. I smile back. Then a voice from the back of my throat says, you can come with. Cut to me and her at a stop sign. I don't want to play the right game the wrong way. In the silence that has followed us to the front door, I smell a crown of mosquitoes above her head. There is no water, but I can smell the ocean. The man at the store is sweeping the street, at which point I ask her name. I've only ever seen her in a gallery with a glass of Prosecco in her hand. I watch the man watching us in that night, in that long summer. She pulls out some ice cream from the freezer and adds it to the bill. The pop of her lips are flint and fire. The birds are silent, and so is the wind. The rest of the night falls away. In another magic, she calls me by my original name. It is difficult to know what to walk away from. She asks why my eyebrows are raised. We are sitting on top of a park bench watching time. We are a part of it right here in New York City. This is where the road delivers us to the edge of difference. Butterscotch drips from my fingers and falls to the tarmac. A beautiful suspension. Then I, or you, or whoever decides to look, hand rolls a cigarette as we rummage through our back pockets for a light. Thank you.